What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 15 beta 4 to register developers about two weeks after the release of the third developer beta. And for public beta testers, you should see beta 4 very, very soon. And I will keep you posted on Twitter when that gets released. Now, in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 15 beta 4, watchOS 8 beta 4, tvOS 15 beta 4, and macOS Monterey beta 4. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and what's new. So anyways, let's go and get right into it and start off with the size of this update. So you can see here on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, it came in at 1.21 gigabytes and that of course was coming from a beta 3 but that size will vary depending on your device and the version you're coming from so let's go ahead and check out the build number for beta 4 settings general about 15 you can see there the new build number is 19a 5307g so we do have a g at the end of the build number which means of course we do still have quite a few betas to go and if we go down a little bit to the modem firmware you could see that is now 2.08 0.01 so that is a nice jump on the modem it was 2.07.01 on beta 3 so now what's new here in ios 15 beta 4 and the first thing probably one of the most controversial features overall and changes overall in ios 15 is with safari and we actually have a few changes here and you could probably already point them out here on beta 4 so i'm going to bring over a beta 3 device over here on the left and you will be able to tell a couple of changes here inside of Safari pretty much right away. So if you look at the address bar down at the bottom, you will notice that we now have a refresh button inside of the address bar on beta four. So before in betas one through three, it was very controversial. There was no refresh button unless you tapped on these three dots right there and then you found reload. But now here in beta four and hopefully for the rest of iOS 15, we do have a reload button right there inside of the address bar. Now you'll also notice that we have a new share icon next to the windows icon here inside of the address bar. Before it was just these three dots as you can see right here. And when you tapped on it, it gave us this menu that you only see inside of Safari, the way it's styled. But now if you tap on that here in beta four, it's the default share sheet right here. And you can see reload looks like that. Whereas before it kind of looked like that. So some changes here inside of Safari, and you'll see that when we refresh, we also have the X right there, whereas before we didn't have anything in the address bar to stop the refresh or you know to stop the page from refreshing. So some nice changes here in Safari on beta four. Oh, and one other thing, when we have to press on the address bar right here, we also have some minor changes here in beta four. So you'll see that copy and paste and search are the same. The second row is all the same, but down at the bottom, we no longer have reload or share because of course those are now inside of the address bar. So we have the share right there and the reload right there. So we don't need that in the haptic press menu like we had in beta three. So instead of having that, we now have show bookmarks and turn off content blockers to replace reload and share. Now on iPad OS 15 beta four, we also have some changes inside of Safari and Safari now matches Mac OS Monterey, just the overall style here in beta four. So you can see the tabs, first of all, are just like they are in Monterey. All the buttons are the same as they are in Mac OS Monterey. Now also, you can actually select the style that you want Safari to show in. So if we go into our settings here and then go down to Safari and then go down to tabs, you could see that you can actually change this from the compact tab bar to the separate tab bar right there. So you have the option now to change how you want the overall UI of the tab bar and really all of Safari to look on iPad OS. So if I go ahead and see, you can see what the tabs look like right there. If I select compact tab bar, you can see it looks like this, like we have on iOS. So nice little change there and kind of some more customizability here on iPad OS 15 beta four. I like this look better because it looks more like Mac OS Monterey and it doesn't seem so scrunched together. Also new in beta four, if we go into our settings, you will see that the notifications icon right here inside of settings has changed. So it has a new look to it now. And I actually like the look a lot better than it was in previous betas and of course in iOS 14 as well. So the new look, I like it 
Also, if you go into notifications, you will notice that we have a new section here for screen sharing. So we have scheduled summary, show previews, and now screen sharing here in beta four. When you tap on that, you can allow or disallow notifications when you're screen sharing via share play or screen mirroring. We also have a change inside of our widget stack. So if we go in haptic press on a widget stack and go to edit stack, you will notice down here at the bottom that we have new glyph icons for smart rotate and for widget suggestions. So nothing has changed in the overall functionality, but you will notice some new icons there. I think they look a lot better, a lot more modern and kind of fitting here for iOS 15. We also have a new toggle inside of individual contacts. So if you're inside of a message and you go to click on the contact for more information right here, you can see that we have a new toggle down here for share focus status. So if you did or did not want this person, you know, knowing when you're in focus mode, you can enable or disable that right here. And speaking of focus, if we go into our focus settings right here and then go to add a new focus, you will notice that next to custom, we have a new glyph icon. So before it was like this little magic wand as the glyph, but now it's just a plus icon right there next to custom. So just a very small change here inside of focus. We also have full support for the MagSafe battery pack now with beta four. So if I go ahead and attach this to the back here on beta four, you can see that we have the correct glyph icon up there inside of our battery widget and then also if i go to the lock screen and put this on you will see that we actually get the animation now whereas we did not get that before in beta 3 so it didn't do it right there so let me go ahead and attach this while locked so you can see there is the animation showing on beta 4 just like it did in ios 14.7 and we also get this little message right here saying that iphone can charge to approximately 90 percent while using a magsafe battery pack which overall you know this battery pack is kind of so-so i think it's kind of overpriced but i talked more about that on twitter if you want to hear my thoughts on the magsafe battery pack and of course i did make a video on that as well but we do have full support now in beta 4 for that battery pack we also have a new action inside of shortcuts so we now have a return to home screen action in shortcuts here on ios 15 at beta 4. so of course this will just return to the home screen of the device when you add it to one of your shortcuts or to one of your automations and then lastly i've also heard that a lot of people are saying that their banking apps are starting to work as expected here in beta 4 and they no longer crash so if you were having issues with a banking application on beta 3 those very well could be resolved here in beta four. Now, as far as bug fixes go, one of the first things I noticed that has been fixed here in beta four is spotlight search. So spotlight search now works properly in beta four. You could search for something and it actually shows up right away as you can see right there. Whereas before, sometimes I would have to type out the entire name of the application. Sometimes I would get blank icons here in spotlight search but all of those appear to be fixed in beta four. And Apple did also publish the release notes for beta four that shows several bugs that have been fixed here in this update. And a couple of them are for Safari. You can see here, Safari search results are now scrollable on iPad. Safari no longer crashes when you're closing tabs, which that was a big one. That was a big issue I had inside of Safari. I would go to close out of multiple tabs and it would just simply crash after I closed like the third tab when I did it rapidly. So that has been fixed here in beta four. We also have a fix for the iPhone tab bar now correctly minimizes and expands on scroll. So that was apparently an issue. I did not have that. And then we also have a fix to iCloud private relay, which I had in beta three. So it says if network connectivity is interrupted, the system no longer displays an inaccurate alert that iCloud private relay is incompatible with the network. So I had this and I also had multiple people comment that they had this issue and that has also been addressed here in beta four. And if you wanna read all of the fixes and all of the remaining issues, in beta four, I will leave those release notes down in the description below. Now, one bug I have been facing in beta three, and it's too early to tell if it's fixed here in beta four, is with applications like Snapchat and ESPN, where I still get the default notification sound instead of their own custom notification sound. So for whatever reason, that still is not fixed. I thought it was fixed in beta three, but I did still have it. So hopefully it's fixed in beta four, but Apple has not mentioned it. And if it is fixed, I will let you guys know in my follow-up video this coming weekend. But as far as other bugs go, Apple has really addressed some of my major bugs, especially with Safari here in beta four. And overall in beta three, I really just didn't have that many issues. So, you know, things are looking really good so far for iOS 15. But of course, if I do come across any more bugs, I will mention those in my follow-up video 
this weekend. I'm sure I will. So I'll let you guys know and you know keep you updated on that. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance on beta three was pretty solid and I'm expecting this fourth beta to improve on that. And so far it feels really nice and smooth and Safari overall is one of the main things I noticed feels just faster and just more smooth overall here on beta four and it's definitely not placebo. I have tested this side by side with beta three over here and it does feel faster in Safari at least. And overall, I would expect the performance to just be better. And you know, if we go ahead and check out the Geekbench scores here for iOS 15 beta four, you can see there we got a 1599 on the single core and a 41 at 15 on the multi-core. This was just, you know, after less than an hour of having this installed. So those numbers could change, but still some pretty respectable scores there for beta four and performance overall. Again, I would expect to just continue improving, especially once we get into the deeper betas, once Apple stops introducing, you know, new features and changes and really just focuses on the performance. So that's probably going to be, you know, in like betas seven, eight, you know, somewhere around there. But so far performance, really not too much to complain about right now. Now, as far as battery life goes, battery life, I have had some issues with in beta three. So it's much better than beta two, but battery life is still not quite on par with iOS 14.7 or 14.7.1. So I'm hoping that beta four does improve the battery life. But again, we're probably gonna have to wait until like betas, you know, six, seven, maybe later until we see some real tweaks and improvements to that battery life. Because of course, Apple is focusing now on just introducing new features and changes versus just fixing the performance and the battery life. But we'll see, I could be wrong. So I will let you guys know how battery life has been in my follow-up video this coming weekend. All right, so now what is next for Apple? So today is Tuesday, July 27th. And we've been on a two week beta cycle ever since beta one of iOS 15 was released, but Apple usually switches to a weekly release schedule right around beta five. So we could be seeing a fifth beta as early as next week, the first week of August, but Apple could also continue with a two week release cycle and then switch over to a weekly cycle after beta five. So really we could see beta five as early as next week, maybe on August 3rd, but you know, it could also be the following week on the week of the ninth, maybe on the 10th or the 11th. It depends on Apple sticks to that two week schedule or they switch over to the one week schedule. So we do have quite a few more betas to go. And of course we should expect to see iOS 15, the public release in mid September. Now, if you're on the public beta, again, like I said, near the beginning of the video, I would expect you guys to have public beta four as early as really as early as today. But if it's not out by the time you're watching this video, if I have not updated like the description or anything like that, I would expect it to be out on the 28th or the 29th for you guys. I don't think Apple's going to wait a whole week to push it out for public beta testers. That's usually just what they do like with the first beta. So expect it, you know, sometime very, very soon for public beta testers. And again, I would expect to see beta five within the next two weeks. Then after that, we should be switching over to a one week beta cycle. But of course, Apple is super unpredictable. They could do whatever they want and I could be totally wrong, but that's just based on history. But anyways, guys, Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my iOS 15 in-depth coverage. And also make sure you guys leave a comment down below with how iOS 15 at beta four is running for you. Make sure to come back before Saturday as well and leave a comment on this video and you may be featured in my follow-up video coming on Saturday. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.